So Africa must stop behaving like a drunken master who goes through a gate in a yard that doesn't have a fence. It will never have a fence because we are one thing. We marry into each other's communities and families. We go to each other's activities. We share cultures. And I know for sure that the people of Ghana dance to Ama Piano. So why would they think that they are not South Africans and why South Africans will think that they are not Ghanaians? It's only an imagination that was instilled in our heads by our colonial masters. Julius Malema, the leader of Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF party in South Africa, has expressed skepticism about the relevant and legitimacy of borders in Africa. Malema, like many others who share similar views, argue that the borders were imposed by colonial power during the scramble for Africa in the late 19th century and early 20th century. These borders are often graded pre-existing ethnic cultural and linguistic division among African community. Malema believed that these artificial borders have contributed to conflict, economic disparities and political tensions within and between African nations. He has suggested that Africa should strive for unity and collaboration upon these borders to foster a sense of pan-Africanism, a movement that seeks to promote solidarity among the people of African descent and other overcome the legacy of colonialism. I want to say this today here, that xenophobic people are people who suffer from self-hate. Because when you love yourself, you will never hate another person. A black person who looks like you should serve as a mirror to you. When you look at that black person, you must see yourself. And therefore, you cannot say the people from Ivory Coast are not needed here in Ghana. They are taking our jobs and our opportunities because there is no Ivory Coast, there is no Ghana. There is no Nigeria, there is no South Africa. There is no Liberia, there is no Botswana. There is Africa. Because we <laughs> never determine these artificial borders. Some people went to sit somewhere and decided to divide us. And they did that with a pen and took away our brains because there is no wall in other places there is no fence yet we see the wall and the fence that doesn't exist we are unable to break this imaginary artificial, artificial borders because our boss told us that we are divided we are being treated like mad people where you've got a gate without a fence all of you, when you want to exit to Ivory Coast, you go to a border, and that border is a gate. But when you check on the side of the gate, there is no fence. Our people are living together. So Africa must stop behaving like a drunken master who goes through a gate in a yard that doesn't have a fence. It will never have a fence because we are one thing. We marry into each other's communities and families, we go to each other's activities, we share cultures. And I know for sure that the people of Ghana dance to Ama Piano. So why would they think that they are not South Africans and why South Africans will think that they are not Ghanaians? It's only an imagination that was instilled in our heads by our colonial masters. Even though Judas Malema, when he visited Kenya on opening Pan-African Institute, he said to reporter that you are not supposed to tell me welcome in Nairobi because Nairobi is home. Every place in Africa by Africans is a home. Nothing changed compared to South Africa. Ah, well, it's home. It's, it feels like being at home. So you don't feel uh, anything less than excitement when you're at home. 